All right, class, welcome back to the Reebok Pump Fantasy Draft Camp Lesson 2. Today we're talking about mock drafts. It's gonna be an integral part of your preparation for a fantasy draft. Yeah. What is a mock draft? Oh, wow. Okay, so you know how teams will practice a lot before a big game? I mean, not the Titans, but yeah, generally. Well, think of your fantasy draft as the big game and mock drafts as your practice sessions. The more you practice, the more prepared you are gonna be for the big game. If you're feeling remotely nervous about your upcoming fantasy draft, the easiest way to calm those nerves is to practice. And what do coaches always say about practice? You practice like you play. Right, you practice like you play. So do your mock drafts on the same client where your league's gonna be. You got an ESPN league, you do your mock draft on ESPN, Yahoo League, Yahoo Mock Draft, and so on. You want complete familiarity with all the little idiosyncrasies of that JavaScript plugin from where the buttons are to draft players to how to mute the alerts. Ding, ding, ding. Shut up, you don't wanna hear that. Same thing goes for draft position and league settings. If you've got the first pick overall in a 12 team draft, then you need to practice with a mock draft that has 12 teams where you've got the first overall pick. It's not enough to know that you're gonna pick Jamal Charles or Adrian Peterson or Marshawn Lynch with that first pick. You've gotta know what you're gonna do with that double pick at the end of every other round. You need to practice different strategies for when players go off the board at different times so that you're not blindsided when someone goes a little bit early taking Jimmy Graham with the 22nd overall pick. Practice like you play. Yeah. So if a mock draft is how you prepare for a real draft, then how do you prepare for a mock draft? Good question. Before you sit down to mock draft, you want to put together your draft board. Now, every single draft client will have a list that's sortable of all your draftable players arranged by average draft position, ADP, or by their projected fantasy points. But that's only gonna be a starting point for you. You want your own list. You don't want this crappy list that everybody else is using. So you wanna take that list and the players that you like, you wanna move them up the list and the players you think are overrated, you wanna move them down. And if a player is out with uh, injury or suspension, hey Josh Gordon, then you wanna take him off the list altogether. Cause when you're on the clock, you don't wanna be looking at someone else's list of the top players. You wanna have the confidence that if your internet it cuts out, you're not gonna auto-draft someone like Chris Johnson or Dwayne Bowe because you thought ahead and already removed them from your draft list. Yeah. Do you think we should have specific strategies going into a draft like running back, running back, receiver or receiver, quarterback, receiver? Now your early round strategy is going to be dictated in large part by your draft position. For example, if you've got the ninth overall pick, you probably shouldn't commit to this whole I'm going to get a running back first because what if you're sitting there at nine and Antonio Brown or Des Bryant are readily available and provide better value? You don't want to get pigeonholed there. A better way to go about this is to look at your draft board and say, these are the players that I really want. Then you go into your mock drafts and see which of those players you really want you can actually realistically get with your position. As you do more mock drafts, patterns will emerge. And instead of being locked into the strategy, you're gonna have a more flexible decision tree. Oh, well, I wasn't expecting to get a tight end early, but then Gronk fell to me, but that's okay because I know that I can get one of the three rookie running backs I like in a later round. Eventually, with enough practice, it just becomes second nature, like kung fu, except uh, dorky and without any of the physical benefits. Yeah. Right, but it's just a mock draft, so if I don't get the player I want in the first round, I can just leave, yeah? Yeah, you know you can just leave? This classroom. I will not have you mock mock drafts. Hope the rest of you are taking this a lot more seriously.